Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you really quick how you can fix loose or sloppy uh, scroll wheels on Zowie C-Series mice. So essentially the way that the haptic feedback, the tactile bumps work on this generation of mice is there's a black plastic piece you can see that sits inside the scroll wheel, which is held in place by this white plastic cradle that the whole thing sits in. And there's a ball bearing on the back side of this black plastic piece. You can just see it shine through the spokes of the wheel right there. Something smaller. Um, right in there. And basically, it as the wheel turns, it goes click click, 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 click between those separate little plastic spokes from the scroll wheel. When you have a loose or a sloppy Zowie scroll wheel, what's going on is the ball bearing isn't pressed very firmly against the other side of the scroll wheel, and so there's less um, tension there, and it allows it to wobble around and move pretty loosely. The way that you can fix this, you can't quite see that well, but right around this area, um, behind this white plastic cradle, what I've done is I put some aluminum tape, you can actually see the edges of it here, there, and there, and what that does is it takes up some extra space and kind of, um, tries to flex the white plastic outward slightly. In turn, that puts more pressure on the inside plastic bit, and so it pushes the scroll wheel and the ball bearing more firmly together. By doing that, now you have very tight and tactile steps in your scroll wheel. So I, I know there was a, a thread on Reddit today about the Zowie C-Series scroll wheels being sort of a QC lottery, and basically they are, but it all comes down to the amount of sort of squeeze that this scroll wheel system has um, applied to the, the ball bearing. And if yours is loose or sloppy, then you can add some extra material in there to create more pressure and fill up that gap. Now, I can't guarantee that this will be, you know, permanent or that it won't get looser over time, obviously. Um, but, you know, it may end up just being one of those things where you go, okay, it got a little bit looser. I need to add another layer of tape to it a year or two into ownership or something like that. Uh, you know, not necessarily a perfect solution, but anyway, it's one that works. And if you're curious how to remove this whole cradle from the mouse. It's like a paper towel roll. You squeeze the two sides together and then you lift one side out and then the other side pops loose. And to put it back in, it's kind of the opposite. Put one side in, squeeze the other side and roll it down. Anyway, um, yeah. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, leave a like on the video <laughs> if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll try to find more tips like this to post in the future.